Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about the addition and subtraction properties of equality. So first of all, what are equivalent equations? That's our first definition that we see at the top of the screen. And it just says when two equations have the same solution. That's all we're talking about with equivalent equations. So with the additional addition and subtraction properties of equality, we're trying to create equivalent equations. So for addition, it says we can add the same number to each side of the equation and it will produce an equivalent equation. So we see kind of the algebra there, it says if A is equal to B, then A plus C would be equal to B plus C. So basically we are just adding C to both sides of the equation. A lot of times we can think about this as keeping the equation balanced, so we have to do that. So we can do whatever we want to one side of the equation as long as we do it to the other side as well. Same idea with subtraction, but now we're just subtracting the same number from each side of the equation. So if A is equal to B, then A minus C would be equal to B minus C. Once again, we are subtracting C from both sides, so we're doing the same operation. We're keeping that equation balanced. So let's look at how this is gonna look with some, some examples. So for number one, we see X minus five is equal to negative two. So for these equations, we would consider them simple equations because we only have to do one step in order to solve for the variable. So that's our goal. We're trying to figure out what the variable is equal to. So we can do this by performing inverse operations to get x isolated or by itself. So if I look here, I see I have x minus five, so I could add five to both sides of my equation. The reason I add five is because on the left side, negative five plus five would be zero, or in other words, those numbers would cancel each other out. So all I'm left with is x, which is what I want. I wanna know what x is equal to, and now I can evaluate negative two plus five, and that would be three. So my answer for number one would be x equals three. And we could always plug in three for our variable to make sure our equation makes sense. Three minus five is negative two, so we did it correctly, x is three. All right, look at number two. Now we have a plus 10.1 is equal to 13.2. So now we wanna do the opposite of add 10.1, which would be subtract 10.1. And remember, whatever we do to one side, we need to do to both sides. The reason why we're subtracting is because, is because it's opposite of add 10.1. And the reason it's 10.1 is because positive 10.1 minus 10.1 would cancel out, right? It would equal zero. So we get A is equal to, and now we can subtract over here. Two minus one would be one, and 13 minus 10 would be three. So my answer for number two would be A is equal to 3.1. And once again, we could plug that in for A to check and make sure, and it does work. So we did it right. And the last one, number three, B minus four fifths is equal to one fifth. So now we can do the opposite of minus four fifths, which would be add four fifths, and we're gonna do that to both sides. My four fifths on the left side will cancel because they're opposite of each other. So we get B is equal to, and one fifth plus four fifths would be five fifths, which would just equal one. So for number three, B would equal one. And that is how we can use the addition and subtraction properties of equality.